And we have sad news to report tonight. Longtime and legendary ABC7 reporter John North passed away yesterday at the age of 78. John North was a bulldog, an old school journalist who never backed down and was never afraid to hold the powerful accountable. In Philadelphia, John North, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. In Sacramento, John North, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. At Edwards Air Force Base, John North, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. In Washington, John North, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. ABC 7's John North spent 34 years with Eyewitness News. He was a witness to history and a friend to many here in the Eyewitness Newsroom. Politics was John's bread and butter, but he reported on every major story in Southern California for decades. He toured Scientology's secret base back in the 1980s. According to former Scientologist Sylvana Garantano, when she was here, this place was part slave labor camp, part insane asylum. And covered the trial of the LAPD officers who beat Rodney King. John was there for the verdict on April 29, 1992. Let's go to John North in Simi Valley for a live report and the very latest there. John? Harold, an unprecedented trial. The whole world was watching. But the videotape was the centerpiece of it. With the prosecution saying, believe your eyes, believe what you see on that 81 seconds, that horrible beating that shocked everybody. I see Judge Stanley Weisberg on the bench. Let's cut to the courtroom right now. All of them, not guilty on all the counts except the one against Lawrence Powell. And from that infamous Bronco chase to O.J. Simpson's acquittal in 1995, John North covered the trial of the century for nearly every day over two and a half years. They've been sequestered for 264 days, and the jurors are spending their last night in a hotel. They've heard nearly nine months of testimony and argument. After 9-11, North traveled to the still-smoking Pentagon. Work has continued to pull bodies out, and as the body recovery continued, President Bush warned the remaining terrorists they won't get away. The attacks preoccupy official Washington, but there is also concern here about how they will affect the economy. And he traveled to Kuwait at the beginning of the war on terror. South of the Iraq border, those of us who were waiting in Kuwait got our first reality check with the beginning of dozens of air raid sirens. Marine Lieutenant Colonel Charlie Chase leads the way into one of the unit's bomb shelters. This is Kuwait City. The war is six days old. How many times have you been down here? 20. Less than a week ago, these Marines thought they were on their way home. They'd been at sea for seven months. Now they're on their way to Iraq. John retired from Eyewitness News back in 2013 and spent the last 10 years riding his Harleys and doting on his three granddaughters, Elizabeth, Brittany, and Haley. John's son, Todd, told Eyewitness News today his father was strong, hardworking, and loving, something we all knew as well. John served his country in the Marine Corps Reserve, and he went on, of course, to serve the people of Southern California with Eyewitness News. He was one of the greats, and they just don't make him like that anymore. A tough exterior with a warm heart. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.